Hi leaders and welcome to the series. Uh, we are opening up the book of Revelation. We're looking at Revelation chapter 2 to 3 and it's a good introduction into quite a complicated book. It's relatively simple and chapters 2 and 3, um, they're a good way of uh, entering into what God is trying to do in the book of Revelation. It's, it's clear, it doesn't have a lot of this crazy imagery in there. Um, a lot of that we will cover at a later session. We're fundamentally looking at the, at the way we love God. All right, these seven love letters um, bring up the fact that it's possible for us to get love wrong. Think about churches and home groups that, that have lost their way. Uh, maybe a family that is not close to God, or perhaps even your own life as you work out your own walk with God. These seven love letters addresses the most important relationship, which is between us and God. We want to get this right before we meet Him. Our anchor verse is in Revelations 3.19 and it says, Those whom I love, I reprove and discipline, so be zealous and repent. The idea is that God loves us so much that He doesn't want us to get it wrong and so we don't disqualify ourselves by the time we get to meet Him. Broadly, there are six reproves that Jesus gives, six things that we need to watch out for. The first is don't lose your first love. The second talks about suffering for Jesus. The third is don't compromise. The fourth looks at not just doing things for show. The fifth, which is actually an encouragement, is about patient endurance. And then the sixth is don't be lukewarm. And then we end the series with a final session that looks at what Jesus would say to us as a church, to our home group, to our family, or maybe to us individually. Where would we fall if Jesus was to write us a letter? We want to take the time to get love right. It will have flow on effects, not just in our walk with God, but in some of our other closest love relationships. I hope you um, take time to work this through with your home group and call out honestly what the truth of our love lives are. God bless.